When setting up site-to-site -site tunnels between two Cisco ASAs, there's lots of different commands we're going to need to type in. And the first thing we're going to want to do is create an access list. So we're going to go ahead and put in an access list that says it's uh, 100, although it can be called anything we want. And in our ASA on network A, we have a 192.168.1.0 subnet on the inside of that particular network and on network B we have a 10.0.0.0 subnet. So then we're going to want to create a second access list and this is if you want to do routing to inter multiple internal subnets or between an ASA and a PIX. You're going to want to have the second address because it does something different than the first one. And we'll call it no net because that's what it's going to be doing for us. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to create a NAT command that uses that no NAT access list. And that allows us to make sure that no NATing happens between the two internal subnets. After that, we're going to want to create our crypto maps. And that crypto map is actually sets up the tunnel itself. And the we'll go ahead and go through this command crypto ipsec transform dash set my set my set is the name of the transform set we can call it anything we want but we're going to call it my set and the next thing we want to do is put an ESP with triple des although you can use des or AES or whatever encryption your ASA is licensed for and we'll use MD5 as well which is the most secure. And now we're going to tie back in that access list 100 that we did in our first command. And crypto map new map, that's the name of our map. And again, you can call this anything you want as long as you're consistent. And the policy number is 10, which is going to be our first policy. If you have policy 20 and 30, those different tunnels will be set up in the lowest to highest order. And we're going to match our access list 100. And now we're going to do another crypto map command. And that's going to set our peer to 4444. Now that's the public IP address on the outside of our network B. We have one more of the transform set commands that we started typing earlier. So we're going to tie that into the crypto map. So crypto map new map 10 set transform set my set. So that ties back in the my set transform set we command we did earlier. Now we're going to want to allow this to happen on the outside. This allows basically the IPsec to work on the outside address. Our next commands are going to have to do with Isaacamp, and Isaacamp allows the keys to be passed back and forth. So you need both IPsec and Isaacamp to, to get this to work properly. So first we're going to set our identity address, and then we're going to enable this Isaacamp on the outside, just like we enabled on the outside the IPsec, now we're going to enable the Isaacamp. Now we're going to create an Isaacamp policy. This is separate from our crypto map policy because it uses the key exchange. And as you can see, it goes into a sub interface. Now we're going to want to set up the type of policy. And we're going to do a pre shared key. You can also do certificates and other types of things, but pre shared key is the most common and easiest to set up. And we're also going to tie in our triple des encryption with that, just like we did earlier with the uh, IPsec. And we're going to use the hash of MD5. Again, that is the most secure. And we're going to want to tell it the group number this is. It's just going to be group 2. And we're going to use the standard lifetime for the keys, which are going to be uh, 86,400 seconds. Next thing we'll do is we'll set up the tunnel group. Now this allows us to have the shared, pre-shared key secret. So first we're going to again put in the network B public IP address of 4444. Remember we're on network A right now. Next thing we're going to want to do is set up the IPsec attributes. So again tunnel group with the outside IP address of the other network 
And then we have one more command to type on network A, which is going to be the pre-shared key. And we're going to use hello as our pre-shared key. They can use anything you want. And now we have to put in hello on both sides. Now the only difference between network A and network B's ASA is going to be with this access list at the top to start with. You're going to want to switch this 192.168.1.0 with our 10.0.0.0 network. So you just flip-flop the two subnets. You do the same thing for the NoNet because you want to start with the network that you have on your network that is relative to the ASA that you're working on. The only other changes you're going to make is the set peer is going to be the public IP address on network A, which would be 3333 in our particular case. And you do the same thing for the two tunnel group commands. So those are the only four or five things that you do. Flip-flop on the access lists, set the peer to be the other ASA, the other network's ASA, and set the tunnel groups to be the other as well. To check to see that you have a good tunnel, you're going to want to do a show crypto IPsec SA. And uh, since we haven't set up network B yet on our other ASA, we're not going to see anything. And the second command is show crypto Isaacamp SA. These are the security associations between the two ASA firewalls. So this one shows IPsec, and this one shows Isaacamp.